class within your within your application. And I'll post this code separately after the, after the video tutorial. What I'm looking at here is the concept of frames and using frames to organize your work and hopefully th make things a bit easier. In this application here, I'm using three frames. I've got a frame across the top for, uh, right, where was I after that photo bomb? Yeah, I've got a frame, three frames. I'm using a frame for the top here, top frame. It'll hold the logo, the title, a little clock that I've put in, and this background. I'm using a frame that I've called button frames. It's going to hold all these in the container. And then, sorry, a third frame, which I've called, and we've all called the container, which we're going to pack in all our other frames that we import. So this is a frame, button frame, and top frame. So if we look at that in the codes, that looks like when I configure this container class, it's got a top frame and I've set the colors here, probably a bad thing to do, but no matter, that is gridded in the zero row and the zero column. And in that I'm packing in the logo, the date and time, and there's a little function at the bottom of this that, that updates it. Uh, and then next I create a button a uh, frame called button frame and in that I'm packing the buttons and it is in row one. So if you try and consider that in your head, we've got the whole big entire frame and within that there's going to be three frames in row zero, one, two and three. Sorry, four frames I think I've used. So that's my button frames, pack all my buttons in it. Now that means that when I run that, the joy of this is that because it's in the main container class, all these will appear in the same position throughout the application. Top frame, button frame, container frame. And it's all achieved in this main. Take that down to all the buttons that's there, the self dot button frame. And then I've got my th the main frame called the container. And it is in row two of column zero. And in that, from our tutorial last year, we're packing in all the other frames that we've imported from, up, from other scripts. Very quick, some of the methods, in fact, show frame you're familiar with. This is the method that I'm using to change the clock. I've imported the time at the very top of the script. And I'm using a time format. You can choose whatever time format you like. Uh, I'm using string format for hours, minutes, seconds, etc. <coughs> so that is a variable that's using the time library to format it in that format. And I'm configuring the label uh, to this self dot time two, and then after that, I'm upping that, upping that, updating that every two hundred seconds. So that's a method that basically changes that in real time. Some other things that you might want to note: all my styling is done in T theme T Kinter widgets, and I can do that after I instantiate my main class. So I'm zooming it in. I'll probably change that. I can change my backgrounds. Let's just do it for the main class. But you get the idea. I can theme my fonts, my sizes, styles, the buttons, etc. I would leave that to the very end. But the purpose of this is to get you thinking about organizing and having a consistent theme throughout your application. Think about the use of re refactoring your code to have a use of frames. Uh, if it makes it easier, have your buttons in the main container so they can be accessible from anywhere within the system and it'll probably make navigation easier. So if you have any questions about this, post to the stream and I'll upload the code as well. Goodbye and good luck folks.